Hello guys, I'm Mappy Chris. Welcome back to a new episode of Scourge Bringer. During last episode, we found two new mini bosses. Peppy, always good to see you. Do you have any dialogues for me? I don't think so. So, what do we have here? More HP. Better weapon damage. A machine gun with banishing mod. A shuriken for extra sword damage. And the shovel. You know, it's like the pan. I don't really like it so much. We don't really stun enemies. Okay, that was really bad. Alright, shield, I like shields. Extra weapon damage. The pan is okay. Ammo crate is fine. Sword damage, I like that one. And reload speed, that's good. the shotgun although i will keep the machine gun Okay, my timing was a little off there in the first one. Let's check the shop. We're we're already here. Um, two HP back. And I noticed we are at over a thousand blood.
Let's check our blessing. Judges drop more items, including health. I'm not even reading this one because I don't think we will, um, you know, not get damaged that often. For each enemy killed while not touching the ground, we get plus 10% sword damage. I will go with the turbo loot. Now, we still need to kill the judges, which is already difficult enough. And here we go, we finished all rooms in this floor. Wait, there's a another item here. What's with this exclamation mark? Did I miss anything here? I'm not sure or maybe that's just the symbol for you know the challenge room Okay, it was not a terrible fight. Not the best fight ever either. Let's check the shops. Bleeding mod? I don't think we need it. Okay, terrible miss right there. So tough. Give me some more max HP. We need that.
Okay, we got our HP back, so... I still cannot get the timing right on his attacks. That was a good shot or deflection. I would like to recover some HP. I don't like the shovel. What's in here? Smashed bullets deal more damage. I'm considering plus 7 HP back. I mean, it's just a short-term survivability thing. A minigun might be good.
Okay, I'm not proud of that damage. However, deflecting those bullets was pretty good. This should be the last room with, you know, normal enemies in, in it. So we should be getting items after clearing this room. One HP back and some more, you know, gun damage. Come on, you're not supposed to be an impossible boss. Wrong button. I try to get out of the way there. forgot about that I think that's the first time we defeated this guy as it's meant to happen and not accidentally so hey i'm proud of that and we've got 1500 plaid I still do not understand that one. There's a shop right here. What do we have? Tranquilizing mod. Vanishing mod. So it's devils take more damage. A master revolver. Not sure about that one. Oh, come on. I did try to deflect that bullet. Trying to pay attention to the walls. I assume there are secret rooms here as well, of course, but I don't know what they look like. Okay, we have one more hit. I mean one more HP, which means we can take one more hit.
So that tentacle guy summons more enemies. Which may be good for combo purposes. I see the challenge room to our right. I think we will die if we go in there. Mini boss. Ah, the falling guy. A fall bot. can be smashed while and before falling. So with four Judge Blood, I'm going to get the Striking Smash. It's neat, we got a re-rolling skill. Are you cold? That must be just the quiet place to compose to live. One more run, we can fit one more. so kind and there's two secret rooms So I guess secret rooms are already unlocked. Because of the map of course. So better combo. Hard skin. Or more blessings. I, I think we have never seen two altars in a row so give me more max hp we should be up to 13 and that's exactly what happened
a pulse laser. It looks like it has no damage. Almost stepped into that falling bullet. And here we get double extra rounds. Come on, bats, don't you dare charge at me. I think we teleported into the same room. We took some damage there. Okay, so it's this guy. I mean, I know we do not want to be standing in the middle of him while he's doing his attack, but A. It just happens. Why would you jump?
I mean, that was not super bad. But we got a bit lucky. And we're almost dead. Now here I would really like a map just to know what secret rooms look like. So, boss fight and mini boss fight. That was close. Was that that was a secret room and I have no clue about what it looked like but I will take a closer look once I edit this video and there's a another secret room so let's try to make it there no promises though Let's see, please give me some HP. Kinai. Quality Looter. Or Determination. I mean, we have to go with that one. Uh, and of, of course, wait a second. Maps are... Okay, no. Never mind. We didn't have the map when we found the first secret room. And of course, it's there's no tell for the second one because we already had the map. A minigun? I mean, maybe this is an amazing weapon. I just do not know.
That was extremely dumb. I'm so happy for the HP. Okay, mini boss. Okay, so he charges at us. And there's these bullets on screen as well. Okay, somehow we killed him. He took most of our HP, however. So, basically we are dead against the boss. The candle... candle... mask. So, the hint is that he's got a blank spot blind spot but no idea what that one is okay we were judged um let's go back to the chiming tree We've got five blood to spend here. I would like to unlock the fury. So there we go. We got the fury ability now. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you're enjoying the series, I will end that run that I just accidentally started, please take me to the tree.
that was my mistake um so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider clicking the like button as well as subscribing in case you didn't already um thank you so much and see you next time have a good day